Hi everyone, my name is Peter Faria and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below, click on the bell to turn on the notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today, we're going to be talking about data and parsing and why it matters. So, looking at the data set that we have available to us for this presentation, we can see that we have a data set containing start date as well as end date. So, if I wanted to get the difference between the end date and the start date in days, how can I do this? For this, I'll be using the formula tool. And I can just write the formula tool. And over here, I can just try to do, for example, end date minus start date. I can configure the output to be a column days, and I can write this to be an N16. If I run the workflow, I will receive an error. Then why is this? Because Altrix does not manipulate date as you write in this format. We have to change the format in order to properly apply date time functions inside of Altrix. So let me show you exactly how we can do this. I'm going to go ahead and delete the, uh, the formula tool. And under the parse category, we're going to drag it in the date time tool. The date time tool will allow us to convert data that currently resides in a specific format to the data that actually sits in the format that authors can manipulate. The difference is, if I were to compare it to the way that in the US we write dates, it would be in English, in the US, we'll be writing dates as month, month, day, day, year, year, year. However, in Altrix, we write it year, 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 month, month, and day, day. So what we're going to do is go from this into this. And Altrix will help us out using the day time tool that I just mentioned over here. So for this, we're going to be selecting that we want to update the start date. We're going to name this start date new. And over here, I need to select the format that my data currently resides in. In this case, as I mentioned, my data set is using the MMDDYYYY format. So for this, I can just locate over here at the bottom and I can see it over here. With this configuration, I can run the workflow and now I'll be creating a new column with the correct date format. Now I can replicate this for the end date column as well. Drag it in the date time tool. Select now the end date column. Then populate the end date new. And over here, I'll be selecting the correct format and go ahead and run the workflow. Now we're able to go from a specific way that we're going to be dealing with dates outside of Altrix and now the correct format for Altrix. We can even go to the metadata tab and what can we see? Before we had strings and now we actually have date format. So what do you need to know? If you need to perform manipulation of data that is in a date structure. You do need to convert your data to the proper format. So converting into date is the proper way to go. So after we did this, we can go ahead and actually try to do what we had done before. On the preparation, I'm going to drag the formula tool and drop it over here. I'm going to create a new column called days. And now I'm going to try to do for example, end date new minus end date and minus start date new. But you can already see over here the Altrix is not highlighting this properly. Why is this? It's because we have specific format when it comes to functions as well. So instead of doing this, we're going to be using the date time diff function. We're going to be selecting the end 
date column minus the start date column. And then the U means the unit. So we want this in hours, minutes, seconds, days, months, year. In this case, I want it days. So I want to change it into days. And notice that I'm putting it inside of quotes. And in case you don't know this, it can be either double quotes or single quotes. It doesn't really matter. And for this, I'll then change the data type to be an in N32, for example. I can then run the workflow. And now I have my difference in days as well. So now you know that if you need to perform manipulation, as we just seen, you need to convert your date to the proper format. And as you have the date in the proper format, you are now able to leverage some specific functions that will actually help you out a lot. So for example, if I had my data set in this format and I needed to extract the month or maybe the day information, so the day, for example, is right in between the slashes, that means that I'll have to come up with a complicated logic. However, as I have my data set already in the proper format, I can call upon the date, time, month function and extract from the start date new column the correct month. And I can do the same thing for the year. So I'm going to create called start year. And I'm going to call upon the function called date time year. And then select the start new column. And now you can see as I run the workflow that we are able to fully extract month or year by using a simple function as you just seen over here. And we have a lot of other functions. So if you click on the FX over here and you scroll down to daytime, you can see exactly how many functions we have available to us. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment them below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.